Welcome back to Chaos Core Tech. My name is Garrett and today we're going to do something a little bit different. This video is sponsored by Dell and NVIDIA RTX. A few months ago Dell reached out to us and they wanted to partner with us for a few videos so they sent us a new computer in order to level up our daily workflow. Um, if you're interested in the specs of the PC or the crazy monitor they sent, check out the video in the eye in the corner. And for this next video we were asked to use the workstation for a few months and share our honest feedback um, and whether or not it's affected our workflow and what it has allowed us to do. So let's just jump into it. The first one should be obvious if you watch the channel. It's 3D modeling. 3D applications take a lot of processor power and GPU power to do what they do. So it goes without saying that having a better PC makes 3D work easier. But I underestimated how much of a difference the NVIDIA RTX GPU would make. I can get into tens of millions of polygons in ZBrush before it starts slowing down. Blender runs like butter, even with really complex geometry, and we were even able to venture into 3D modeling applications in VR, um, which you can check out that video up in the eye as well. If you've tried to work with crazy big models before, you know how impossible it can be to work when your computer takes several seconds to register that you've even made any input. Um, before I got this PC, I was using Maya to try and retopologize some of my models, and it was painful. I'm not exaggerating when I say that there were times that it would take 30 seconds to respond to even just moving the camera. So not only was it really annoying to work like that, but it makes you so much more inefficient as well. That time is way better spent making more models, so having a PC that matches your needs is extremely important. Moving on from 3D modeling, um, once you've actually created your 3D model and you're ready to share it with the world, you need some sort of really nice pictures that show all the work you put into your model. Um, so I've, I've always tried to do some rendering with the programs that I have. Um, I tried Blender rendering a few years ago, but I ultimately stopped because it was taking too much time um, to even render just a picture with nice lighting and materials. So with this new PC, I thought I'd get back into it and see what I could do. Um, I made a whole video where I took my Godzilla model and had some fun with the lighting on it. Um, you can find that video up in the eye as well if you're interested. Um, I remember the last time that the renders would come through very slowly, um, they would just fill up box by box of a single frame or picture that had been rendered. But with this PC, it just popped up and it was ready to go. Like I kind of questioned if it actually had been rendered or not. It was that fast. Not to mention that Blender's EV rendering engine does a really, really good job of showing the lighting in real time. So being able to quickly make changes and see the results right away is amazing. And Blender actually has a bunch of configuration stuff that you can mess with. So there are optimal settings um, just for the RTX GPU acceleration stuff that are really cool as well. And all of that allowed me to even mess with some more animation rendering stuff. I'm still really new to this, so it's a little rough, but I made this animation as like a test intro for the channel. Um, I used a bunch of physics and fluid simulation stuff to make it look like our logo was coming out of a resin tank. And I thought that was kind of a fun idea, but um, I couldn't even begin to think of doing something like this on my old C uh, PC. It would have taken literal days to render a few seconds of this. So um, being able to do this was really, really fun. And not just all the 3D rendering stuff, um, this has also stepped up my 2D rendering as well. Uh, my video editing and exporting has received a massive boost in speed, and it's so nice to not only be able to see FX changes in real time, but, or in real time, but be able to render things in a matter of minutes instead of hours. Then the final thing that I really dove into was some game development. Um, I used Unity as a game engine, so I opened that up and got to work straight away. Uh, this is actually a game I've been working on for a while now, it's called Prisma. It's a 2.5D monster collecting game similar to Pokemon. Um, I actually have another YouTube channel where I've been documenting my development of this game, so I will leave a link down in the description if you're interested in checking that out, but if not, no worries. But just like everything else I've been talking about in this video, it's insane how much more efficient I can be without having to worry about weird program stutters due to high processor load or just general frame rate, frame rate drops um, causing random issues. So a big thank you to Dell and NVIDIA RTX for sponsoring this video. If you're interested in learning more about Dell Precision Workstations and NVIDIA RTX, check the first link in the description. It's been really fun to try out some of the higher end features and programs available to 3D artists out there. It just makes creating things that much more fun. So you guys should let me know down in the comments if there's anything else I should try out, um, potentially for a future video. All right, well, that's it for me. So thank you guys for watching. And until next time, keep creating.